everybody. I'm just going to give you a quick uh, tip on what to do with your luggage tags that you get from the cruise lines. You used to get these in the mail with your tickets or from your travel agent, but now you just basically print them out on a printer. And so what you end up with is a paper um, luggage tag like the one here and you print it out and basically you're supposed to fold it up and it ends up looking like this. The problem is because it's made out of paper, uh, obviously you fold it and staple it to your bag here, but it's only made out of paper. So if it gets wet or if it gets torn up on the airplane, if you put it on before you fly, uh, it can tear, you know, it's not very solid. So what we do is we always take this after we fold it up and we take some packing tape, clear packing tape. So what we do is we take this paper tag and we take this tape and just kind of try to get it as straight as you can without going over the edge. A horrible job there. And then if you get it too long, that's fine. Just fold it over. It just makes it that much stronger. And just fold it over on each end. And I'm going to do another strip. The tape's not wide enough to cover the whole tag like that. Fold that under. And now you've got a really strong and waterproof label for your luggage tag. And then when you staple it, you want to make sure you staple it several times so that it's good and strong so that it doesn't come off accidentally. But that packing tape really makes a nice strong label. Here's a couple that we have for our cruise we're getting ready to take. I've already put the, uh, the tape on there and it's ready to go. You could put tape on the back, but it's really not necessary, but you could do it if you wanted to. So anyway, hope that helps. Hope you have a great cruise.